President Peres, you have already won your place in the gallery of the great man of Israel. Your biography follows closely that of your country, and you have been present and associated in different capacities with the most important moments of Israel's life. We are very privileged to have you as an interlocutor. And if I may say so myself personally, I treasure all the moments we have shared in different capacities. Namely, when I was a young, very young foreign minister in my country, and I visited this country in 94, or when I have the privilege of exchanging views and receiving the advice and the wisdom of President Perez in different capacities. Today, I had the occasion to visit Yad Vashem and also to pay my simple tribute to the memory of all those that were the victims of one of the most, if not the most, terrible moment of world history that the Jewish people suffered in a very, very terrible manner. And that's why I think we can say that we are both convinced of the absolute necessity of transmitting these values to the next generations. As the Talmud tells us, the one who teaches his son teaches his son's son. And now I can say it because since one year and a half, I already have a grandson. We hope the countries of this uh, region will also increasingly enjoy governments based on these values. And I also believe that the strong relationship between the European Union and Israel must continue to be a positive force, not only in our interest, but also for the region as a whole. And what you said, Mr. President, in terms of technology, in terms of scientific cooperation, it's extremely important. Today, together with the Prime Minister of Israel, we have witnessed the signature of an important agreement precisely in the field of scientific cooperation. We are therefore committed to continually strengthen the vital links between Europe and Israel, economic, social, cultural, scientific, and I reiterate the European Union's fundamental commitment to Israel's security. That is precisely the reason why, for instance, we took such a principal position regarding the threat that Iran represents, not only for Israel, but for the region and indeed for the world, if Iran does not give up on its program for nuclear military capabilities. Mr. President, Europe and Israel are both steeped in history, but history belongs to those who advance it and not to those who hijack it. I know I can count on you and the European Union as a great trust on you to continue co-writing the history of this country, of this region, and of our bilateral relations with multiple hands for the sake of uh, healing, repairing, and transforming the world.